What is Quora all about? Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Quora Marketing, the ultimate Quora masterclass for online marketers and business owners. All right, now, we'd like to congratulate you on your decision to take this opportunity to learn all about using this amazing internet platform to grow your business, as well as to thank you for choosing this course. So let us take you by the hand so we can teach you all there is to know about using Quora to grow your online presence, reach potential clients for your business, and increase your sales. What is Quora? Quora is a social media platform where users can interact by asking questions and providing answers to each other. Quite simply, it is a question and answer website that is similar to a forum or board, but with more social features and a very large audience. Quora is an open platform that allows people from all around the world to share their knowledge on any topic, niche, or industry. Quora was a small site with a small but unique user base when it launched in 2009. It was mostly used by tech experts and other industry people. It grew more and more popular once word got out that it was being used by high-profile people, such as Facebook co-founder Dustin Muscovitz. And today, it is the largest Q&A site on the Internet. How does it work? Quora is perhaps the simplest to use question and answer site you can find and it works like an open-ended yet very streamlined internet form. Anyone can join the site, and it just takes a few clicks to ask questions or give answers. When you join the site, you'll be able to select or follow the topics that you're interested in. Generally, people follow topics that they know about, so they can help others with answers, as well as topics they're curious about, so they can ask questions and get custom answers with the information they're looking for. You'll notice that Quora is a social media platform when you start using the site because it uses a front page feed where you'll find questions made by other users, which you can respond to with a single click, as well as answers provided in posts related to the topics that you choose to follow. Why should you consider Quora for marketing? Quora is no doubt a great tool for brands and marketers thanks to its social nature. It lets you engage directly with users which presents a great opportunity to interact in a meaningful way. Not only that, but it will help you build a long-lasting impression when you give a good answer to a question. Building awareness and authority comes down to providing value, and Quora gives you all the tools you need to present your personal brand or company as a source of information. When you answer a question with a thoughtful and helpful reply, users will be encouraged to take a look at your profile. And what's more, to follow your brand and the answers that you give to other users. Best of all is that when users follow you and see your answers on topics they also follow, they will upvote your replies, which will push your content to the top of results, exposing your brand to even more people. What benefits can Quora provide for your business? Big brands and businesses of all types have not missed the opportunity to grow their online presence by joining Quora. This is not only because it's great for marketing yourself or your company when you apply the right strategies, but also because Quora has great features for businesses too. First off, Quora can help your brand or company appear on the first page of search results when people search a term that appears as a question that you have answered on Quora, because Quora answers usually appear on top of search results pages. Another benefit is that Quora promotes great answers to popular questions on Quora Digest, a daily newsletter they send to its users. Lastly, Quora has an outstanding advertising platform that will help you reach even more people, as well as to send more traffic to your site at a very affordable cost. What's the future for Quora? Quora is growing and improving every day, and there are many brands and businesses joining it as we speak. This is mainly because Quora is getting more and more popular in regions that are becoming increasingly profitable for online businesses, such as India and Latin America, but also because large companies are putting in money to make its advertising service bigger and better. This means that by establishing a presence and authority in Quora today, you'll have access to a bigger, untapped, and very profitable audience in the future. So, are you ready to start your Quora marketing journey? Yes? Then let's get started.
setting up Quora for marketing. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to the first live lesson in our Quora Marketing Masterclass. We are as excited as you are to get started, so let's dive in. In this first lesson, we're going to walk you through the initial steps you have to take in your Quora marketing journey, which includes creating a Quora account, following your topics of interest, creating an attractive profile, optimizing your bio, how to find questions that you can answer. Expect the upcoming lessons to get more in-depth because we'll be showing you how to use Quora for marketing from zero to hero. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming next. How to use native Quora features to market your business. How to upload marketing videos to Quora. How to use Quora to engage your audience. How to repurpose your blog's content for Quora. How to create backlinks on Quora. How to set up advertising campaigns on Quora. How to set up remarketing campaigns on Quora. How to cross-promote your Quora content on other platforms. How to review your performance on Quora. Tips, tricks, and more. Are you ready to learn all you need to use Quora to promote your brand and grow your business? Yes? Then let's get started. Create a Quora account. Creating a Quora account is a fairly simple job. Start by visiting the Quora homepage at Quora.com. You will be prompted to log in or sign up. You can sign up using your Google account, your Facebook account, or your email address. For this example, we are going to sign up with email. To do this, simply click on the Sign Up With Email link. On the following page, enter your first name, last name, email address, and password. Solve the CAPTCHA and then click on the Sign Up button. Follow your topics of interest. Awesome! You just joined Quora, and now it is time to follow your topics of interest. You have to choose topics so Quora can show you questions and answers about those topics in your Quora feed. Simply select 10 or more topics from this window. Make sure to select topics that are directly related to your areas of expertise and your niche. You can click on the Continue button after you have selected your interests. After you select your interests, you will be suggested to follow spaces. Quora spaces are communities that users and contributors have created around the topics that you just selected. Here you have to select up to three spaces. You can click on Next after you select your spaces to continue. Next, you will be suggested to select additional languages that you know. You will be suggested languages according to your region. Make your selection and click on Done. Create an attractive profile and optimize your bio. Now that you've completed your registration, it is time to create and optimize your profile. Start by clicking on the profile icon located in the top right corner of the screen, and then click on the tab with your name. In the Profile section, you will be able to edit your photo, your name, your profile credentials, your bio, your credentials and highlights, and knows about credentials. Let's start by clicking on the Add Photo button inside the Profile icon to upload the profile picture. OK, now click on the Add Profile Credential and enter your title or position at your company into the Profile Credential field. Then click on Save. All right. Now click on Write a Description About Yourself to open the Bio Editing window. Here you are going to write your professional bio. Please bear in mind that Quora only shows the first 50 characters of your bio when users see your profile in the feed. Because of this, we recommend that you add the keywords that best describe your brand or business, as well as your position within the company that you will be promoting, right into the first line of your description. Here you can even include links to your other channels. To do this, click on the link button and enter your social profile URL into the URL field. Check the footnote option and then click on the Add button. You can click on the Update button when you're ready to save your bio. Now it is time to add credentials and highlights. First, click on Add Employment Credential to add information about your employment and click on Save when you're done. Next, click on Add Education Credential to enter your educational background info. Save and then click on Add Location Credential to add information about your current location. After you save, 
you can click on the Edit button in the Credentials and Highlights section to add more credentials. Now click on the Edit button in the Knows About section to add the topics that you know about to your profile. Click on Done when you are finished adding these topics. Finding Questions to Answer Now that your profile is complete and optimized, it is time to learn where you can find questions to answer. To do this for the first time, click on the Answer Your First Question link. This will take you to the question section, which you can also access from anywhere on the site by clicking on the Answer tab. And this is it for this lesson, friends. But get ready, because in the following lesson, we'll be showing you how to use these Quora features to market your business. Using Quora Features to Market Your Business Hey there everyone! Now that you have created your Quora account and optimized your profile, it is time to start using the features that will allow you to market your business on the platform. In this lesson, we'll walk you through the basics, from configuring your settings for maximum reach to answering questions the right way. So let's dive in. Settings Let's first stop by the Settings section of your account. Click on the Profile icon located in the top right corner of the screen, and then click on the Settings tab in the menu. The landing page for the Settings section is the Account Settings page. Here you can configure and edit your basic account settings, including your registration email, your passwords, and your connected accounts. Some of the settings in the Privacy and Email and Notifications pages can help you to have greater control on your reach. Let's click on the Privacy tab to go to the Privacy Settings page first. Here you can control privacy settings such as allowing search engines to index your name and allowing adult content in your feed, inbox preferences, then include permissions for users to send you private messages, comment preferences, translation preferences, and content preferences. Let's now click on the Email and Notifications tab. In this section, you can control what type of email notifications you'd like to receive from Quora. In general, it is a good strategy to leave these notification settings as default, so you can receive notifications even when you're away from the site. Follow people and questions. Following people and questions on Quora is, first, essential to build your content feed, and second, it helps you to find out the type of questions and answers that your audience favors. Following people and questions is also important because it helps you to learn who are top contributors, which users are rising as writers, and to learn their styles. This is vital because it helps you learn more about how your niche audience interacts with authority accounts. There are two methods you can apply to find people and questions to follow. The easiest and most direct method is by going to your Quora feed where you'll find people and questions in real time. You'll find people in your feed by checking the answer right below a question in your feed. Their profile will be highlighted above the question, and all you have to do is to click on their name and then to click on the follow icon located in the profile. To follow a question, simply click on the title of the question to go to the question page. Once there, click on the follow icon that you'll find right below the title. Easy, right? Let's try out the other method. First, Enter a topic keyword into the search bar. Then click on the search tab on top of the display results. On the following page, click on the profiles tab located under by type. You'll see a list of users in the results column. And all you have to do is to click on the follow icon below their profile. To find questions to follow, click on the questions tab in the same section. A list of questions on that topic will appear in the results column. Again, all you have to do is to click on the follow icon that you'll find below each question. Answer on Quora We're doing an awesome job so far. And now that you know your way around Quora, it is time for you to learn how to answer a question on Quora the right way. As we explained before, you will find questions to answer in the Quora feed, in the Answer section, and also here, in the search results when you filter questions for a specific topic. 
To answer a question on Quora, all you have to do is to click on the title of the question to enter the question page, and then to click on the answer icon. This will open the answer editor, and all you have to do is to type your answer into the text field. You can stylize the text by using the formatting options in the toolbar. You can attach images to your answer by clicking on the gallery icon to upload an image from your computer. You can also attach links by clicking on the link button. All you have to do is to insert your destination URL into the URL field and then to click on Add. Once you are done composing and editing your answer, click on the Submit button. And that is it! As you can see, using Quora is easy and straightforward. Posting your marketing videos on Quora. Hey there, friends. Quora is not a visual discovery platform, but there's no doubt that you can boost the visual appeal of your answers with visual media, including videos. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to leverage Quora answers to promote your marketing videos the right way. Quora Video Embedding and Specs. Quora does not support native video uploads anymore which means that you have to embed your marketing videos from another source. The only requirements to embed a video on Quora is that you host it on another platform, that the video is of high quality, and that it is directly related or complementary to the answer that you are providing. Getting your video embed URL. Okay, let's take the first step, which is to obtain your marketing video embed URL which you'll need to insert your video into a Quora answer. The way to obtain your video embed URL will depend on the platform where you host your marketing videos. In our case, we host our marketing videos on YouTube. The benefit of embedding a marketing video from YouTube is that it is reliable and that you can obtain your embed URL easily. Embedding your YouTube marketing videos in Quora will also help you to drive more traffic to your videos, which will improve your video rankings. So let's find the embed URL on YouTube. Start on the home page and click on the profile icon. Then click on the YouTube Studio tab. Once on the channel dashboard, click on the Videos tab located in the left-hand sidebar menu. Now locate the marketing video that you want to share on Quora and click on its corresponding Options button. Next, click on the Get Shareable Link option. You just copied the video's embed URL into your clipboard, and you are ready to insert it into your Quora answer. Posting your marketing video to Quora. All right, friends, now it is time to post your marketing video to a Quora answer. First, you have to find a question that you can answer with your marketing video as backup for your answer. Remember, don't post your video to promote or market a product or service. Simply use it as a backup resource, like you would use a chart or infographic. In this example, we're going to look for an answer using the search bar. Ready? Okay. First, enter a topic keyword into the search bar. Now select the topic in the results. Once on the results page, click on the questions link under the By Type menu in the left-hand sidebar. Now locate a good question to answer with your video and click on it to go to the question page. Next, click on the answer icon to open the answer editor. Now before you embed the video, it is important that you prepare how you'll format the answer. This is because it is not recommended that you reply directly with the video alone. Instead, you have to give some background about the video by briefing the reader about its contents. First, it is recommended that you open with a brief introduction. Next, explain that you created a video where you provide the answer. Now enter the title of the video right below this text and bolden it. Now it is time to insert the video into the answer. Here you'll simply have to paste your embed URL right below the title. Awesome! As you can see, the video just embedded into the answer and readers just have to click on the play button to watch it. Additionally, you can also insert the shareable link below the video for an additional traffic boost for your YouTube video. 
Simply click on the link icon in the editor toolbar and paste your video URL into the Enter URL field. Then click on Add. Now readers can also access your marketing video through the text link you just added below the video. All you have to do now is to click on the Submit button to post your answer. And that's it! An easy way to leverage Quora Answers to get more viewers for your marketing videos. Using Quora to Engage Your Audience Hey there, friends! Quora is a question-and-answer website with a social media twist, which means that there are plenty of ways of using it to engage your audience. In this lesson, we are going to uncover those Quora features that allow you to interact with Quora users in a way that enhances the reputation of your personal brand and your business. Questions for you One of the best ways to let Quora users know about your profile is through questions for you. When you follow topics and interests in Quora, you will receive questions made about those topics directly into your questions feed. To find these questions for you, simply click on the answer icon in the top bar menu from anywhere in your Quora account. This will take you to the questions page, where you'll find your questions feed. Here you'll find questions that you can answer under the questions for you column. As you can see, these are questions made about the topics that we selected when we first created the account. One of the advantages of keeping an eye on this section is that it allows you the opportunity to be the first to reply to a question for you. As a strategy, we suggest you to pick an hour of the day when you are free to dedicate time to reply to questions for you. That way, you can stay on this page and refresh to see which questions have no answers, so you can be the first to reply. Additionally, there's a way for users to send questions directly to you when they compose a question. Once you grow as a contributor, Quora will suggest your profile to people asking questions in topics that you follow. These direct questions are called answer requests, and you will find them by clicking on the Answer Request tab under Questions. Upvote and Downvote Quora users can upvote or downvote answers according to how helpful they are. Users can upvote an answer by clicking on the upvote icon below an answer. And they can downvote the answer by clicking on the downvote button located opposite to the upvote button. Upvoting an answer is the way in which users approve a reply. An upvote not only means that you've given a good answer, it also means that the user that upvoted you perceives you as an authority. This is because upvotes on Quora are not the same as likes in other social channels because upvotes are given to answers that users want to see on top. This means that you have to work towards getting as many upvotes by providing answers that are not only satisfactory, but that are also helpful, and provides plenty of insight into the topic. You also have to make an effort to get early upvotes by replying first or second. Edit your answers. You can edit answers after you've submitted them. This can help you to include additional information or to update an old answer. This works similar to updating content from your blog because the Quora algorithm as well as search engines index these changes. To edit an answer, you'll simply have to locate the answer that you want to edit by going to your content page first. To do this, click on the Profile button and then on the Your Content tab. Once on the Your Content page, Click on the answer shortcut under Content Type. Next, click on the title of the question where you left an answer. This will take you to your answer. Now you'll simply have to click on the More icon and then on the Edit Answer option. Pin an answer. You can pin your answers to your profile so your profile visitors can see your most thoughtful content right when they're checking information about you, your brand, and your expertise. To pin an answer to your profile, simply locate the answer that you want to pin and click on the More icon. Next, click on the Pin to Profile option. Now your answer will be pinned to the top of your profile. To see how it looks, simply click on the Profile button and then click on the Menu tab with your name. As you can see here, the answer has been pinned to your profile and it appears right below your bio. 
awesome job. Want to learn more effective ways to expand your brand's online presence with Quora? Then let's head to the following lesson. Repurposing your blog's content for Quora. Hey there, friends. Quora can be a great platform for repurposing your brand's content when used right. While it might not offer a dedicated blog feature, you can leverage the space provided by answers to distribute your content. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to repurpose a blog post to answer a question. Additionally, we'll also show you how to use repurposed blog content to build a backlink with each answer that you compose the following way. Step number one, finding a content piece that you can repurpose. Step one of this strategy is finding a content piece that you can repurpose into an answer to a core question. The idea is to select a piece with information that can help someone to find a solution or answer to a common problem or issue in your niche. We are using WordPress as our content management system. So in this lesson, you'll see us navigate our WordPress site to find our content pieces. If you're using WordPress too, start by going to your site's dashboard. Next, click on the Post tab located in the left-hand sidebar menu. Once on the Post page, check your published posts in the Posts column. What you'll do now is to think of an issue or topic in your niche that you discuss in one of your blog posts. Once you identify the blog post, Think of how you would formulate a question about that issue or topic on Quora. This should give you an idea about the keywords or terms that you are going to use to find a question that you can answer by repurposing the content in your post. Okay, now open that blog post in another tab in view mode. You are going to pull content from it while you compose your answer. And now that you've found a good post to repurpose, let's head over to Quora. Step number two. Finding a good question to answer with your content. All right, the next step is to find a good Quora question that you can reply to with the repurposed content. Start on Quora and go to any questions page. The easiest way is to search questions using niche keywords in your content. To do this, enter a keyword from your content into the search field and then click on search to go to the results page. And once there, Click on the question shortcut to narrow results to questions only. Now check the questions in the results column. Identify a question that can be answered with information taken from your blog post. Now click on the question to go to the question page to compose your answer. Step number three, repurposing your blog post into an answer. The final step is to reformat content from your blog post to compose your answer. First, Click on the answer icon to open the answer editor. Now go to the blog post page and check the title of the post. Now think of a way to rewrite that title as a direct answer to the question. Once you do, go back to the answer editor and type in the answer directly. Highlight it and click on bold to bold in this text. Now add a brief overview of the solution that you'll provide as your answer. Now go back to your blog post page. Scan the content and identify a section or sections that you can use to elaborate the complete answer. In this case, we have a list article, and we can copy a paragraph from each entry and paste them one after the other in the answer editor. Once you have pasted all the content that you are going to repurpose, rewrite some parts to make it sound more casual and more conversational. You can add an image from your post into the answer by copying the image URL right from the post page by right-clicking over the image that you are going to use and then clicking on Copy Image Address. Now go back to the Answer Editor to insert your image. We recommend you to insert the image right after the intro. Simply insert a space and then click on the link icon. Now paste the image URL into the Enter URL field and then click on Add. The last step is to add a link to the original blog post. Start by composing a message to let the user know that you wrote a detailed article where they can find more information regarding their question. Then go to the blog post page and copy the blog post URL. 
Go back to the answer editor and then paste the blog post URL into the Enter URL field. Click on Add to insert the URL. You can click on Submit to finish. And that is it. As you can see, repurposing your existing content to expand your brand on Quora is just a few clicks away. Creating Backlinks on Quora Hey there everyone! Quora is a platform made for users and contributors first. But that doesn't mean you can't apply effective marketing strategies when you know how to do it right. Building backlinks is one of those strategies that lots of marketers have a hard time with. Luckily, Quora makes it easy for you to put backlinks that people will see and click through, and we'll show you how in this lesson. Putting Backlinks on Your Profile One of the best placements to insert backlinks that go directly to your site's homepage is in your profile. Start on the Quora homepage and click on the Profile icon in the top bar menu. Next, click on the tab with your username. There are two good placements within your profile to insert backlinks into. The first is into your profile credential. To add it, click on the Edit button in your profile credential. What you'll do now is to replace the name of your organization with the web address of your organization's homepage. While this is not a text link that users can click through, it gives users an easy way to go to your website simply by highlighting the address and right-clicking on it to use the Go To function. The second best placement to insert a profile backlink is into your bio. To do it, click on the Edit button to open the editor. Down type website colon at the bottom of the description. Next, click on the link icon in the toolbar and enter your website's URL into the URL field, then click on Add. Now click on Update, and it's done! Two backlinks on your profile. Adding a backlink within an answer. You can add text links within an answer as backlinks to a content piece on your website. This strategy is similar to interlinking content on your blog or to citing content from an external site with a text link. Let's see how by editing an existing answer. Go to your profile page and click on the answer shortcut under the Feeds menu. Now locate an answer where you can add a text link to a content piece on your site. Click on the More button and then on Edit Answer. Now find a word, phrase, or line that you can use as a citation. Highlight this text and then Click on the link button in the toolbar. Now enter the URL of the article you are using as the source or citation, and then click on Add. Now that you added your citation backlink, click on the Update button to save your changes. Easy, right? Sharing a link in Spaces Lastly, you can share a link with Quora users directly using the Share Link feature. This allows you to share a content piece to spark discussion. This is similar to creating a post on social media, and it is a good alternative use of questions. To share a link, you have to start by clicking on the Add a Question button from anywhere on your Quora account. Next, click on the Share Link tab in this new window. All you have to do is to configure your post. First, Click on the Choose a Space drop-down menu button to select the space where you'll share the link. You can choose to share the link with followers or to one of the spaces that you follow. Please consider that you choose to share your link with a space. You'll have to wait for moderators of that space to approve your post after you submit it. With that in mind, let's select followers to share the link with followers. Next, click on the Say Something About This field to add a comment about the link that you will share. Then enter the URL that you'll share into the Enter a Link field. Lastly, click on the Share Link button. And that is it, friends! Follow these steps and you'll be able to use Quora as a factory of backlinks.
setting up a Quora ad campaign. Hey there, everyone. All marketers and business owners know that there's an end to every organic marketing campaign and that you need to advertise if you want to scale. The good news is that Quora has a self-service advertising platform that allows you to run ads natively on their site. And in this lesson, we're going to teach you how to create your first ad campaign on Quora. Get started by joining Quora for Business. Before you can start running ads on Quora, you will need to join their Quora for Business program. All you have to do is to visit the Quora for Business section at quora.com forward slash business and once there, to click on the sign up link. Log into your Quora account and then to follow the registration steps. Step number one, creating a campaign. Once you join Quora for Business, you will be able to create ad campaigns by signing into your account, clicking on the profile icon, and then on the Ads Manager tab in the Profile menu. Now that you are in the Ads Manager dashboard, click on the Create Campaign button. On the following page, you have to start by entering the name of your new campaign. Then you have to select your campaign objective. There are four objectives to choose from. Conversions, app installs, traffic, and awareness. For this example, we are going to select awareness so we can get more users to see and engage with one of our answers. Next up, you have to set your budget and duration. Start by setting your budget. You can set a daily maximum budget or a lifetime budget that stops your campaign when your budget is spent. For this example, we are going to enter a daily maximum budget. Now it is time to set your schedule. You can select to begin advertising immediately, or you can select to set a start and optional end date. For this example, we are going to select to begin advertising immediately. You can click on Continue after you configure all settings on this page to move on to the next step. Step number two, creating the ad set. Next up, you have to create the ad set for this campaign. Start by entering the name of this new ad set into the ad set name field. Now you have to select your primary targeting strategy. There are four primary targeting strategies to choose from. Contextual targeting shows your ad to users according to topics, keywords, or questions. Audience targeting allows you to show your ads to users that match your web traffic, to lookalike audiences, and to your contact list. Behavioral targeting shows your ads to users according to their interests and to retarget them based on their history. Lastly, broad targeting shows your ads across Quora so your ad gets as many impressions as possible. For this example, we're going to select contextual targeting. Then we're going to select topics. This selection will allow us to show our ads in the topics that we choose. Next, we are going to enter the topics where we want to show our ad into the Targeted Topics field. Now it is time to set the remaining targeting options. In Location Targeting, you'll have to enter the locations where you want users to see your ad. In Platform and Browser Targeting, you have to select the device types, mobile platforms, and desktop browsers that can show your ads. In Email Targeting, you have to check or uncheck whether you want to include ads in the Quora Digest email. We highly recommend you to activate this targeting option. In demographic targeting, you have to select the genders you want to show your ads to. To exclude questions or audiences, you can exclude questions or audiences from showing your ad. Lastly, in the Set a Bid section, you have to select your bid optimization strategy. You can optimize for clicks, for impressions, or for generic conversions. For this example, we are going to select impressions, so we can show this ad to as many people as possible. After you select your bid strategy, you have to enter your top bid into the bid field below. Here, we recommend you to enter an amount that is equal or above the suggested bid below. You can click on the Continue button after you complete your configurations on this page. Step number three, creating the ad and launching the campaign. Now it is time to create the ad for this campaign. Start by entering the name of the ad into the ad name field. 
Next, select an ad format. The available formats include image ad, text ad, and promote an answer. For this example, we're going to select promote an answer. To promote an answer, we have given to a question made in the topic that we are targeting. If you select this objective, go to the creative section and edit the business name. Next, enter the URL of the answer that you are going to promote into the answer URL field. You can find the URL of an answer by going to the question where you left the answer that you want to promote, clicking on You've Written an Answer, and then copying the URL from the address bar on the next page. Back on the creative page, you'll see a preview of the ad after loading the URL. You can now click on Continue. Lastly, you will be prompted to review your ad info and to submit a payment method. You can click on Complete Order to pay for the ad and launch your campaign. Setting up a traffic campaign on Quora. Hey there, friends. You just saw how easy it is to set up an advertising campaign on Quora, as well as a variety of advertising features that Quora has for you. The awareness campaign we helped you create in the previous lesson will help you to grow your presence within the Quora platform. But if you want to get users to learn more about your business outside of Quora, you will need to run a different type of campaign. That is why in this lesson, we are going to teach you how to create a traffic campaign that will help you send more targeted traffic from Quora to your website. Creating a Traffic Campaign Start on the Ads Manager dashboard. Click on the Create Campaign button. On the following page, enter the name of your new traffic campaign into the Campaign Name field. Next, select Traffic as your campaign objective. Now move to the Budget and Schedule section. Select your budget strategy, and then enter your total budget into the Budget field. Now select your Schedule Strategy, and then click on Continue to move to the next step. Now it is time to create the ad set. First, enter the name of the new ad set into the Ad Set Name field. Next, select your primary targeting. For this example, we are going to select Contextual Targeting. Then we will select Topic in the Targeting Type column. Then we are going to enter the topics where we want to show the ad into the Targeted Topics field. Now you have to enter your target locations. To select your target devices, mobile platforms, and desktop browsers, to enable or disable email targeting, to select your demographic targeting, and to select targeting exclusions. Lastly, Go to the Set a Bid section to select your ad delivery strategy. There are two strategies available. Optimize for clicks and impressions. For this example, we are going to select Optimize for clicks. This strategy lets you optimize your ads to get clicks, and you only pay when people click through to your website. Next, enter your maximum bid into the bid field, and then click on Continue to move to the next step. Creating the ad and launching the campaign. Now it is time to create the ad. Start by entering the name of your new ad into the ad name field. Next, you have to select your ad format. For this example, we are going to select text ad. After selecting your ad format, move to the creative section to customize the ad. First, customize the business name. Next, enter your ad headline into the headline sentence field. Now enter your ad copy into the body text field. Then click on the Call to Action drop-down menu button to select a call to action for your ad. Now move to the URL formatting section. Enter your website or landing page URL into the landing page URL field. You can click on Continue after you complete all configurations on this page. Lastly, review your ad settings, submit a payment method, and then click on Complete Order to pay for your ad and launch your traffic campaign. Setting up a remarketing campaign on Quora. 
Hey there, friends. Are you ready to step up your Quora advertising game? Because we're certainly ready to help you do it. There is an advanced type of online advertising strategy called remarketing. With remarketing, you can track the people that visit your website back to Quora where you can show them your ads. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to easily set up a remarketing campaign on Quora step by step. Step number one, setting up the Quora pixel. To create remarketing campaigns on Quora, you will need to set up the Quora tracking pixel and to install it on your website. Let's set up the Quora pixel first. Start on the Ads Manager dashboard. Next, click on the Pixels and Conversions tab. On the following page, click on the Setup Pixel button. A pop-up window will appear where you have to select an installation method. Select Install Manually and click on Continue. Now copy the JavaScript pixel code in the pop-up. Step number two, installing the Quora Pixel on your website. Next, you have to install this code on your website. For this example, we're going to install the Pixel on a WordPress website. If you're using WordPress too, head over to your site's dashboard. Now move over the Appearance tab and then click on the Theme Editor option from the menu. Now move to the Theme Files column. Locate Theme Header and click on it. Now check inside the code and locate the less than head greater than tag. Now paste the pixel code below this tag and the less than forward slash head greater than tag. Go back to Quora. Once you are back on Quora, click on the continue button in the pop-up. On the following page, click on the standard events drop-down menu button and select the action that you expect visitors to complete on page load when a user clicks through your ad to your landing page. Now copy the page load events code and go back to the code editor on your site. Now paste this code right below end of Quora pixel. Then click on the update file button. Now go back to Quora and click on the done button. You might have to wait a few minutes, then reload this page to see when your pixel becomes active. Ah, here it is. The pixel status is active. Step number three. Setting up the remarketing campaign. That was an awesome job. Now it is time to create your remarketing campaign. Click on the Create Campaign button. Now enter the name of your new remarketing campaign into the Campaign Name field and make sure that Conversions is selected as a campaign objective. Now move to the Select a Conversion Type section. Click on the Conversion Type drop down menu button and select the same conversion event that you selected when you created the pixel. Now move to the Budget and Schedule section and select your budget strategy. Now enter your budget amount into the budget field and then choose a schedule strategy. You can click on Continue after completing all settings on this page. Now it is time to create the ad set. Start by entering the name of the ad set into the ad set name field. Now select your primary targeting strategy. Now enter your target locations. Next, select your target devices, mobile platforms, and desktop browsers. Now configure email targeting, demographic targeting, and exclusions. Now move over to the Set a Bid section and select Optimize for Conversion. Now enter your bid into the Target Cost Per Action field. You can click on Continue after completing all your settings on this page. Now you have to create the ad. Start by selecting your ad format. For this example, we are going to select Promote an Answer, so we can show one of our expert answers showcasing our brand to people who came to Quora from one of our content pages. If you select this option, move to the Creative section and edit the business name first. Next, paste the URL of the answer you want to promote into the Answer URL field. Wait until that answer loads in the preview and then click on Continue. Lastly, review your ad settings, submit a payment method, and then click on Complete Order to pay for your ad and launch your campaign.
cross-promoting your Quora content on social. The content that you produce for Quora is perfect for almost any social media channel because it allows your followers more thoughtful topics to interact with and share. Quora makes it easy for you to share your content on top social networks natively. And in this lesson, we are going to show you how to do it the right way. Connecting your social channels to your account. The first step is to connect your social channels to your Quora account. Start on your Quora dashboard and click on the profile icon. Next, click on the settings option from the menu to go to the account settings page. Once there, move to the connected account section. There you can connect to Twitter and Facebook. Let's connect to Twitter first. Start by clicking on the Connect Twitter account link. A Twitter login window will appear. Enter your login details and then click on Authorize App. Now your Quora account is connected to your Twitter account. Let's now connect to Facebook. Click on the Connect Facebook account link. A Facebook login window will appear. Enter your login details and click on Login. A Quora authorization prompt will appear. Click on Continue As. And that's it. Now your Quora account is connected to Facebook. Promoting your Quora content with social posts. It is fairly easy to share your Quora content to your social channels after you connect your accounts. You can do it right when you compose an answer or when you edit an existing answer. In this lesson, we are going to show you how by editing an existing answer from our Quora account. To find an existing answer, click on the profile icon and then click on the Your Content option from the menu. Once on your content page, locate an answer that you'd like to share with your social media followers. Click on the question title to enter the question page and then click on More Sharing Options. As you can see here, sharing options include your connected social accounts. Let's click on the Facebook icon to share to Facebook first. A post to Facebook window will appear, and all you have to do is to add a comment about your answer into the caption field, and then to click on the Post to Facebook button. Awesome job! Let's now click on the Sharing Options icon again to share on Twitter. First, click on the Twitter icon. A Share on Twitter window will appear, and all you have to do is to add a comment about the Quora link you are sharing, add some hashtags, and then to click on Tweet. And that is it. As you can see, sharing your Quora content to your social channels is a walk in the park, and you don't need to leave Quora to do it. Reviewing your performance on Quora. Reviewing your performance on Quora, just like on any platform, is vital for your campaigns. It helps you see the areas where you are doing great, as well as the areas where you need to improve. It also shows you metrics such as traffic and engagement. Besides, we're sure that you are eager to know how you are performing yourself after all you've learned and done thus far. Because of that, we are going to show you how to measure your performance using Quora's built-in stats feature. Measuring Performance through the Stats section To access your Quora stats, go to your account dashboard and click on the profile icon. Next, click on the Stats option from the menu. This will take you to the Stats page, where you will find an overview of your performance on the platform. Here you will see a graph that shows you the number of views, upvotes, and shares that you have gotten in all answers first. You can check stats for individual answers by clicking on the title of a question you have answered, which you can find under All Answers. You can see metrics in detail in the graph. For example, if you want to see the views that you are getting on an answer that you selected, you can go to the graph and check the bars that represent views on a single day. This will show you how many views you got that day alone. You can compare this to the number of views that you get in the following days to see how well the answer performed. You can see individual graphs for upvotes and shares by clicking on the respective tabs in the graph. You can click on the filter menu button in the upper right corner above the graph to select and see stats for other types of content including questions, shares, space posts, 
and blog post. You can also get a complete overview by selecting All Content. Recommended Core Analytics Tools We are aware that these stats can be a bit limited as they don't allow you to see the whole picture on your performance. Because of this, we've compiled a series of good analytics tools that you can integrate with your Core account for a more complete performance review. Google Analytics Sprout Social SEM Rush, Kiss Metrics, Scythe, and Mix Panel. Growing your business through the Cora flywheel. Hey there, friends. If you're not used to the term before, a marketing flywheel is a series of goals that you can only achieve through your targets or customers. It is different than a funnel in that it is not a series of steps that you need the customer to take, but a series of objectives that he can help you achieve, not to make a sale, but to grow your business or brand. A simple way to see a marketing flywheel is to think of it as a group of tasks or objectives that you have to complete to achieve mastery on a business or platform. The core of flywheel is formed by three objectives, which you have to work towards at the same time. Establishing thought leadership. There is no way around the fact that core is a place to build authority. In fact, building authority is the marketing objective that is the easiest to achieve on Quora. And because of that, it takes top spot on the Quora flywheel. Quora's unique Q&A format, which limits interactions between users and contributors to engaging by sharing information, makes it the perfect platform for establishing yourself and your brand as a relevant source of information in your niche. The Quora flywheel dictates that you build thought leadership by taking the lead, which you can do by being the first to answer questions in the topics that you follow. Being the first to answer is not only important, but crucial to establishing thought leadership for two reasons. First, it determines your ranking. Because the Quora algorithm considers not only relevant and high-quality answers, but also level of engagement. As the algorithm sees it, if your account is fast to respond to queries on the platform and you get quick upvotes, then you are important to the site. Second, it increases your exposure tenfold. We explained before how important it is that you answer first because it helps you to cover all possible information in your reply. But it is worth adding that it puts your response on top. This means that your account is the first thing users will see when they check the question. Distributing content. Quora is a very good place to distribute content that can help you to increase your exposure. While you can't use Quora to distribute content the traditional way, you can use it to distribute content in the form of answers. We already walked you through ways to repurpose content from your blog on Quora, but we'd like to highlight that the flywheel dictates that you leverage each one of your answers to write content that is optimized for search. One of the greatest benefits of writing for Quora is that your answers are saved to the platform permanently. When you write answers that are optimized and evergreen, you'll get the same benefit you'd get from writing in your blog because they will be shown to people searching for the same keywords and terms in your answers. The Quora flywheel dictates that you dedicate a proportional amount of effort to Quora as you'd dedicate to your other channels. In other words, for every blog post, video, or long-form social media post that you create to distribute content, you have to find a Quora question that you can answer by repurposing the content that you just created. Increasing your reach with ads. Quora has its own native advertising solution. This is great news for both users and advertisers. Because it allows people to enjoy the site without having their experience interrupted by ads from external platforms. Now, one of the coolest things about this advertising solution is that it allows you to promote your answers or answers from other users. This provides you with great flexibility when it comes to increasing your reach not only by promoting your own content, but also by leveraging social proof. This is especially useful after you've built thought leadership and brand awareness. For example, you can search for mentions of your brand in Quora, such as people reviewing your products or citing your content in answers. You can then boost these answers with an ads campaign. What's more, 
You can use audience targeting settings to select the type of user that will see the answers that you promote. This will not only help you to increase your reach, but to actually reach the type of user that is most likely to consume your content and buy your products. Formatting your Quora Answers the Right Way One of the greatest misses that aspiring Quora marketers fall into is not formatting their content the right way. This is a mistake that marketers on all platforms make at one point on all social media channels. But this doesn't have to happen to you. Because in this lesson, we are going to teach you how to give a very polished answer to your Quora questions. Using Formatting Tools most Quora users overlook the formatting and editing tools available when they compose their answers. Granted, most users are not using Quora to grow a presence, so they create simple, plain text answers that don't catch the eye. But if you take a close look at the top answers, you'll notice that all of them look very polished, and they read like something you'd find on a blog. This is because top contributors know how to format their answers in a way that makes them stand out. And it all comes down to using the formatting at your disposal when you click on Answer to open the editing window. Open with a headline. A very effective way to make your answers resemble a blog post is by adding a headline at the very beginning. The trick is to use a very direct and brief answer to the question and to bolden the text. Then you'll simply have to follow up with a longer answer. This has the effect of forcing readers to stop by when they see your answer. This also helps your answer stand out when you're not the first to reply, because of the same effect. Use spacing. Another way to make your answers look more attractive is by using spacing to mimic the textbook format. What you'll do is to separate your text into paragraphs. The length of each paragraph will vary according to the length of your answer. For instance, if you're giving a long-form answer, you should type the opening text into a paragraph and to develop the answer into a single, longer paragraph, and then to close with a third, short paragraph. Your answers will look more organized this way, and they'll read like an excerpt from a book. Use subheadlines. If you're composing an answer where you cover multiple ideas or topics, it is a good strategy to use a headline for each idea or topic you discuss. This is easy enough. And all you have to do is to compose a single line of text with the idea or topic keyword, to bolden it, and then to develop the idea below the headline. Using headlines will let you format your answers like list articles, which are easier to read than long-form articles with no subheadlines. Use italics and symbols when appropriate. It can be difficult to understand the whole context of an answer when you only use plain text. Because of this, it is necessary that you use italics and symbols such as quotes and symbols when appropriate. This will help you to highlight elements in your answers such as keywords, sentences, and to highlight names or citations. Use numbers and bullet points. Some answers will require you to list a certain number of points, and the Quora formatting toolbar lets you use numbers and bullets to create your lists. This will help you to keep your answers more organized and easier to read. Add an image at the top of your answers. You will find a media button in the answer toolbar that allows you to upload an image or video to your answers. We already showed you how to use this button to add images that enhance your answers. But a best practice that you can apply too is to insert an image at the top of your answer, right below the headline or below the first paragraph. This image will appear as a thumbnail when users see your answer in their feed increasing the visual appeal of your posts. Hyperlink to external sources. If you're including links to external sources, it is best that you hyperlink to them in your text than to include them at the end of the answer. What you have to do is to simply highlight the text that makes reference to the content in the link and to use the link button to insert the link right into the text. And that is it. Follow these simple formatting rules and you'll become a top contributor in no time.
Crazy Simple Quora Strategies to Boost Your Brand Every seasoned marketer knows that there are always additional ways to make their marketing efforts easier, that there are always tricks and shortcuts that you can take to make the most out of any platform where you're working to promote and grow a brand. In this lesson, we're going to teach you the best Quora marketing tricks that we have discovered and tried with proven results, so you can apply them too and take the lead. Look for questions made by the most niche segments of your audience. Most of the time, marketers and businesses concentrate on reaching out to the largest and loudest segments of their audience. But we found that reaching out to smaller and more niche segments of your audience can give you faster and even better results. What you have to do is to think of a segment of your audience that is concerned by or interested in a very specific product, service, or topic in your target audience. For example, if your niche is audio equipment, you can reach out to customers in the market only for high-end headphones. These segments are often looking for information about very specific products or services, and they are already in buying mode. But because the information they're looking for is hard to come by, they always go underserved. And that's where you come in. Pay attention to their questions, to the answers that they are getting, and work on more elaborate answers that fill their need and satisfy their search. This will automatically convert them into your leads and will champion your content. Crowdsource content from Quora. Quora can be an incredible tool for marketing research. You can use it to research content for your blog posts or to collect information about people in your audience. The best part is that you can crowdsource it and all you have to do is to publish a question. We already mentioned that posting questions is a great way to engage with your audience, but can also help you to collect user-generated content. Just post questions to know the opinion of people about a topic you need to collect information on. Save it and use it as the information for your next content marketing project. Use Quora to find long-tail keywords. Long-tail keywords are terms that include your niche keyword and other topic keywords. Long-tail keywords are essential to create optimized content that is tailored to people looking for information about the products and services that you offer. And you can use Quora to find the latest long-tail keywords in your niche. All you have to do is to enter your niche keyword into the search field. Now, once you get the results, select questions as your filter. Now locate the questions with the most follows. Those are the questions that are searched the most, and you can use them as long tail keywords. Back up your answers with cool graphics. We've mentioned the importance of using images in your answers before, but we're about to tell you about a smart spin on this strategy, using graphics. Yes, Cool graphics such as infographics and modern-looking pie charts with icons to back up your answers is a great way to highlight your points and to keep the reader engaged. You just have to remember to quote the source of the infographics and to link to their work. Use Quora as a customer care channel. You can monitor mentions of your brand or products and services related to your brand on queries made in Quora. Look for questions concerning their use as well as issues that users are having and reply to them in the most helpful way possible. This will not only help you to build a reputation as an authority, but also as a brand that cares about customers in its target market. Tips that will help you create thought-provoking Quora answers. Building your reputation as an authority and raising brand awareness by distributing your content on Quora is great, but there are a few other things you can learn to go the extra mile. The following tips we'll give you here will help you to boost your chances of going viral or landing a sweet mention on a bigger site. Take up space. The first rule of a thought-provoking Quora answer is that it has to take up plenty of space. Be bold and disrupt the Quora user experience in a positive way by creating answers that don't leave much spare room for others to contribute. To apply this strategy effectively, you have to make an effort to always respond first or second. Follow up by composing a long-form answer divided into a minimum of three paragraphs. Apply the formatting rules we discussed in the previous lesson so the text in your answer stands out. 
This will cause the reader to interpret your answer as the best answer to the question you're replying to. It will make the reader analyze your perspective and to make decisions based on your content. Answer off-topic questions that are difficult to respond to. We are sure that you know a lot about certain topics that are off-limits to your niche, but they're a great opportunity to build a genuine connection with certain members of your audience. For example, if you know Spanish or are a native Spanish speaker, or you know any other language, you will find that a lot of your followers are asking questions about it. You will also notice that a lot of the time these questions go unanswered because they're difficult to answer, and the people who know the answers don't use Quora. These are great opportunities to jump in and provide a thoughtful answer to these questions, using the same expert voice you use when responding to questions in your niche. This will cause people to also see you as an expert in a different field, and will start sending questions directly to you. This has the effect of increasing your ranking, and exposing you to an even larger audience. Reply to misinformed answers. Just like any other social platform, Quora is full of users spreading misinformation for marketing, political, and financial gains. You can be proactive in combating misinformation by identifying misinforming answers and replying to them with facts. Use the exact same format you use when you reply to questions, and you'll see how people upvote your answer until it gets the top rank. A good strategy is to defend the position of bigger or more popular competitors in your niche using your own expert voice. This will help you expose your brand to the audience of those competitors without you having to promote yourself. Add value to top answers. You can check the top answer on top performing questions to see if there's something of value that you can add to it. To see if the answer is missing content that can get you an upvote from the author of the answer and from the rest of the users. Use the opposite format strategy. There is a little-known strategy that you can use to interrupt answer patterns in a question that we call the opposite format. Many marketers we know of have kept it a secret because it works great, but you have to be careful to use it only when appropriate. It is as simple as it is brilliant, and it goes like this. Use the opposite format of all the other answers only when those answers are using an elaborate format. For example, if all the other answers are using the long-form blog-style format, you compose a single-paragraph answer with bold and italics in the middle. Or you compose a list-article-style answer with numbered entries. Whichever format that interrupts the pattern of replies will work. Target product-aware users. Product-aware users are those users that are in the final stages of a funnel. Users that are ready to buy, but that need to make the final decision about which product to buy. You'll usually find product-aware users asking about what difference it makes to buy a product that is pricier than another, asking about whether it is worth buying a product with certain features, or asking the differences between the same product from different companies. Reach out to these users with a comprehensive answer. Give them your full point of view and help them make their final decision. And that is it, friends. Apply these strategies and you can go viral, get upvoted, appear in the first page of search results and become most viewed writer in your categories. Quora Marketing Do's and Don'ts Do's. Stick to questions and answers in your niche. Limiting your scope to answering questions in your niche is the safest way to really demonstrate your knowledge about your target industry and to establish authority. Participate regularly and consistently. It is important that you stay active by answering questions regularly, if possible at a fixed time of the day. This will help you increase brand recall among readers who see your answers regularly in their feed. Be genuine. Being open about who you are, whether you're using Quora as a personal brand or company, as well as about why you are actually qualified to answer questions in your niche, makes it easier for Quora users to know you're a real authority and not a spammer. Use stories in your answers. Quora users respond better to answers that read like stories, which means that it is important that you provide an anecdote or testimonial 
to illustrate the point of your answer. This way, users will feel encouraged to check your answers every time, even if only for the entertainment value of storytelling. Be informative. When answering a question or contributing with a reply, focus on being informative instead of promotional. Only do brand mentions when necessary. Be visual. Quora answers that include images attract more replies and views than answers without them. So, it is important that you include an image as long as it fits the context of your answer. Learn who's reading your answers. We recommend you to always check your views page to check the credentials and profile of the people that are reading your answers. This will help you to know what type of user is consuming your content, so you can better refine your answers to their niche. Create a brand voice. It is crucial that you create a brand voice, a unique and recognizable way of replying to questions. This will allow your brand to stand out on the platform. Use the editing tools. Formatting your answers the right way is vital to establish authority, so learn to use the editing tools available when you compose an answer or question. Be original. Before composing an answer or question, we recommend you to use the search bar to find out previous answers to similar questions on the same topic. That way, you will be able to identify missing information that you can add to the conversation, as well as to craft more original responses. Don'ts. Don't steal your answers. Never use content from other sources as the literal answer to a question. Duplicate content is not tolerated by Quora or the Quora community. Don't be off-topic. Avoid commenting or replying to a question if you don't have anything valuable to add to the conversation. After all, Quora is not a forum or board. Don't give black or white answers. Don't reply to a question with a simple answer, with a black or white statement, or with a yes or a no. Be mindful about your answers, and try to write over 250 words for each. Don't use calls to action. Don't encourage people to click on any link with a call to action, as this is seen as spam. Instead, drop links as additional resources to the answer you are providing so people can follow them from the content naturally. Don't sleep on questions. You have to reply to questions as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you risk someone else providing an answer that gets upvoted until it's on top, which will leave you with no chance of participating in a relevant way. Don't be insulting. No matter how silly a question might sound, never respond with sarcasm or arrogance, and never be condescending. Remember that your answers represent your brand. Don't use Quora to do sales pitches. Never try to pitch a product or service through an answer. Instead, mention the product or service to illustrate a point in your answer, but don't use it as the focus of your reply. Don't use a misleading identity. Use your legal or business identity when you join Quora. Using a misleading identity can significantly hurt your brand. Don't spam. Don't reply with answers that are simply intended to drive traffic to your website or any other external URL. The intention is obvious to users and goes against Quora rules. Don't violate intellectual property on the platform. It is important that you get permission from creators and to credit authors when using or citing others in your answers. Because of this, we recommend you to use images from stock image sites and to always provide original answers. Quora Marketing Premium Tools and Services to Consider Jarvi's Quora Upvote Tool Jarvi is an online marketing automation platform that sells a Quora automation solution called Quora Upvote Tool, which allows you to automate upvoting on your answers with a few clicks and settings. All you have to do is to configure the number of answers that you want upvoted daily, the timing and intervals between upvotes, and the number of upvotes per campaign. By automating upvotes, Jarvi helps you to boost your brand status and strength in the Quora community. Fast! Quora Tools by Socinator 
Solsonator is a social media marketing automation company that offers a great deal of tools for Quora marketers. These automation tools will help you to automate following, upvoting, reporting, message broadcasting, and as well as with processing questions. You can manage all these tools from a single dashboard that also allows you to cross-post your Quora content to other sites easily. Questions Pro Questions Pro is an automation tool designed to be used in connection with Quora. What Questions Pro does is to find the perfect questions for you to answer according to your niche and your profile. It also tracks the position of your answers across all questions to show you the best answers you've been giving. Additionally, it scans the profiles of competitors so you can learn their strategies and when they're most active so you can take their lead. SEM Rush SEM Rush is a search engine optimization tool that will help you to find top questions in your niche. It integrates with the Google Search Console and Google Analytics to find the most popular search terms used by your audience when Googling for answers. By finding these terms using SEM Rush, you will be able to streamline your searches on Quora, as well as to know which questions will provide you with an increased exposure to a larger audience. Like Service 24 Quora Services Like Service 24 is an online marketing company that offers premium social media marketing services to brands and businesses on all platforms, including Quora. Their Quora marketing services include Quora Followers, which you can buy to increase your reach in the long term, and Quora Votes, which you can buy to influence your rankings in Quora posts. The company guarantees the best possible quality and results a quick start, a 100% safe and proven service platform, and money-back guarantee. Mention.com Mention is an online marketing platform that provides online media monitoring services for brands and businesses. What it does is it tracks earned mentions and conversations where the name of your brand, company, or products are mentioned. Mention crawls many sources around the web, including Quora, which means that you can crawl for mentions of terms related to your brand or niche on the Quora platform, so you don't miss any opportunity to expand your brand's presence. Find Better Questions Find Better Questions is a unique marketing automation tool designed for Quora marketers. It is a virtual assistant that can take over your Quora research, helping you to find the best questions to answer in your niche easily and on autopilot. This virtual assistant will comb Quora for questions made by your niche audience. It then prioritizes them and creates a list with stats to highlight which questions will generate the most leads and traffic. BuzzSumo BuzzSumo is a content research and media monitoring platform for online marketers. It provides a content discovery solution that will help you with all types of questions and topics on millions of forums and question-and-answer sites, particularly Quora. What's more, it filters results according to the audience profile at any specific platform, which means that you can use it to know how your Quora audience speaks and what terms and keywords they use the most. Site Explorer by Aref The Site Explorer tool by Aref, a digital marketing research platform, allows you to discover what pages on Quora are getting the most organic traffic. And all you have to do is to insert the Quora homepage URL into the Site Explorer to get a top pages report. What's more, you can refine your results by including your niche topic keywords into the search. This will help you to narrow down the questions you'll find to questions made by the audience in your target industry. Sumo Sumo is a digital marketing platform that provides multiple types of funnels or shortcuts for marketers. Their best solution for Quora marketers is their Grow Email List Shortcut, which lets you build your own landing page and email funnel that includes a custom lead form and journey, which you can link to from your Quora profile. Quora Marketing Success Stories Bajaj Finserve Limited 
Bajaj FinServe Limited is a financial services company from India that specializes in loans, wealth management, and insurance. Objective. The financial company wanted to increase the online visibility of its products and to influence potential customers during their research for loan products. Strategy. The company started to identify questions related to financial products on Quora. Then it created two contributor accounts with backlinks to their profiles, which the company used to answer these questions. Results? Both accounts generated over 6 million profile views combined, achieved top ranks in their niche category, and increased referral traffic to their product pages on their brand's website. VCalc VCalc is an online calculator, equations, and data set library designed to help people to quickly calculate complex stuff without leaving their browser. Objective. The site's creator wanted to promote their web calculator and to let common users as well as potential investors learn about it. Strategy. The team behind VCalc signed up on Quora and simply started following topics where they knew they could answer with great content. When people entered questions, they gave very direct answers and included a link to the VCalc website. Results? VCalc is growing at 75% a year ever since joining Quora, and they're getting over 148,000 visits per month, with over 11 minutes spent by each visitor on each page on average. Mario Peshev Mario Peshev is a business advisor and a technical and marketing strategist that offers his services to business owners, managers, executives, and successful enterprises. Objective Mario's objective was to grow his personal brand and to position himself as a top writer in several fields. Strategy Mario's strategy was to give detailed and insightful answers on highly technical fields that include programming, hiring, and recruitment practices, management and marketing, which helps position himself as an authority in multiple topics with a very diverse audience. Results? Mario was able to join multiple authority outlets such as business to community as a publisher and to write feature articles on sites such as Forbes. He's also getting over 1 million answer views in a single year. Nicholas Cole. Nicholas Cole is a writer for Inc. Magazine. He is the founder of Digital Press and a prolific self-development author. Objective. Nicholas's objective was to become a full-time writer. He wanted to build and grow his personal brand online and to raise awareness about him as a skilled writer. Strategy. He joined Quora with the goal of writing an answer every single day. He wrote answers that were at least 300 words long and used storytelling and emotions to better engage with the reader. Results? Nicholas was able to generate 10,000 answer views in just two weeks, after which outlets such as HuffPost, Time, Forbes, and Pop Sugar were featuring his answers. He accumulated 1 million answer views just three months after. WordStream WordStream is an online advertising service provider that sells solutions such as digital advertising management software and analytics tools. Objective The company's objective was to test Quora as a source of qualified, high-intent leads that they could move through their top and mid-funnel campaigns. Strategy the company ran Quora ads for 30 days to test acquisition campaigns to promote a downloadable content piece as well as a free ad performance grading tool. Results? WordStream was able to generate 1,135 clicks from 230,604 impressions. From those, they generated 23 downloads and 20 software trials. Josh Fector Josh Fector is a growth marketer top Quora contributor, and the co-founder of Squibbler, a writing platform. Objective. Josh wanted to build an additional platform to generate and acquire qualified leads for his personal brand and businesses. Strategy. Josh studied and reverse-engineered top Quora writers, fast-growing Quora profiles, and the highest-traffic Quora pages. Results? Josh was able to add more than 3,000 leads to his email list, and he generated 22,000 Quora followers and more than 8 million content views. Respect.studio Respect.studio is a digital marketing company that sells lead generation, omni-channel marketing, 
business-to-business -business marketing, and automation services. Objective. The company's objective was to enhance their authority and brand image, but they wanted to focus on building that through personal branding. Strategy. The company created a contributor profile for their CEO, optimized it, and started identifying and answering questions posted on the platform. Results? The company was able to push their answers to Quora Digest, which helped them to reach more than 200,000 leads through email. In only three months, they were able to generate almost 23,000 upvotes and 600,000 content views. Our Systems Our Systems is a high-performance computer clusters technology provider from Austin, Texas. Objective The company's objective was to increase their online visibility and to also increase brand awareness around the niche products and services that they offer. Strategy The company created a contributor profile for one of their system engineers and their CEO which they used to answer questions related to their niche. They created very in-depth, long-form answers that appeared on top of search page results. Results? The company was able to generate a combined 2,834 content views and 20 upvotes, all organic, which are great numbers for such a narrow niche. IVF Spring IVF Spring is one of the leading fertility centers in the city of Mumbai, India with one of the highest success rates in the country. Objective. The company wanted to increase brand awareness and to reach potential customers searching for information about fertility treatments and issues. Strategy. They joined Quora and started participating by answering questions about the pain points of potential customers. Results. They were able to increase traffic to their website by 5%, to raise awareness by 23%, and to increase lead contribution by 3%. Zenefits Zenefits is a human resources software company that sells employee-centric solutions that focuses on benefits and payroll. Objective The company wanted to improve their customer acquisition efforts by breaking through new channels for generating leads. Strategy The company opted into the Quora Ads platform and ran ads that targeted users by interests and recent actions. They also targeted look-alike audiences. Results? The company achieved a 60% lower cost per lead and a 50% lower cost per click with Quora ads. Quora Marketing Frequently Asked Questions can you make money on Quora? You can't make money directly off Quora unless you create an ad made specifically to sell a product or service. But you can use shortcuts to drive sales, such as capturing leads through email opt-ins so you can move people through a sales funnel. What else can a marketer do on Quora besides increasing awareness, building thought leadership, and advertising? One of the best things about using Quora as a marketer is that it is a great source of content ideas. By checking the content created by top contributors in the categories that you follow, you will be able to see content from their personal point of view, which will allow you to create great content pieces with a more emotional touch, which is great for storytelling in content marketing. Can you really use Quora as a tool for research? Marketers who adopted Quora as a marketing tool early have been using Quora to better understand their audiences. This is because Quora allows you to discover what people are asking at any given moment in any niche, and you can see contributors responding to their queries in real time. This lets you find information about any topic you can imagine right in your Quora feed. Most of the time, this is very detailed information that you won't find anywhere else and that sometimes isn't written about until someone asks about it. This is especially true in niches with very narrow audiences. Can you use Quora for blogging? Quora used to have a blogging feature that allowed users to create their own personalized blogs and posts, but the feature was eliminated so users could focus on engaging through questions and answers. The closest thing you can get to blogging on Quora are elaborate answers with featured images, signatures, and backlinks. What's the easiest way to send referral traffic from Quora to your product pages? The easiest way of sending traffic from Quora to your product pages 
is by doing brand mentions on your answers and posts. What you will do is to insert your product page URL into the text or line mentioning the brand. This will prompt interested readers to click through and learn about the product you're promoting. What's a great way to use Quora to build your community? A great way to build a community for your brand on Quora is by asking questions yourself. This will encourage your audience to participate in a conversation initiated by an authority account. Much like on other social media, this will give your account a signal boost that will prompt others to engage with you. How can you engage and build relationships with other top contributors in a relevant way? Just like on any other social channel, it is important that you build relationships with other top contributors. One of the best ways to do this is by suggesting edits to top answers. You can do it easily by going to an existing answer and clicking on the Suggest Edits button. You just have to make sure that your edits add value to the topic. This will help you enhance your authority in front of other top contributors, earning you mentions. Is there a benefit about being a top contributor on Quora besides appearing on top of search results pages? One of the overlooked benefits of being a top contributor is that it can help you to get publishing partnerships, as major outlets publish top answers from top core contributors on their websites. This is a great opportunity to expand your brand to a larger audience. Can you reuse Quora content on your websites? You don't own any of the content that you post on Quora. So if you're going to reuse content that you created for Quora on your website, make sure to credit Quora as the source. A better strategy is to simply take some of your best answers on a single topic and rewrite them as long-form list articles. What is a good posting frequency on Quora? A rule of consistency among Quora marketers is a minimum of one or two answers a day. Every day. This will not only help you to increase awareness because users will see your contributor profile more often, it will also help you to increase your relevance for the Quora algorithm. You have to be careful, though, to not post simple answers to every possible question in the topics you follow. Always check previous questions on the same topic and see the answers and see how you can improve those previous answers. You will see that this is a good strategy too, because this narrows down the number of questions you'll be able to answer on a daily basis.